Hi, it's Gordon back. Now, continuing along talking about the furniture removers list of pronouns. And the shoot at me list of pronouns. Right. Question for you. What does a pronoun do? What is its job? Why is it there? Now it might seem like um, an obvious question and an obvious answer to some people, but don't think that it is to the majority of people. I and I'm sure you won't mind me saying this, but I was having a lesson with somebody who has a very good level in Spanish, and we were doing these pronouns, this metele, metelo, and I said to him, What's the, what are the pronouns for? What job do they have? And you know what he said? To make my life difficult. <laughs> okay, and I, I empathized with him, I understood exactly why he would say that. Yet the irony is, it's completely the opposite. The opposite is true. Pronouns are there to make our life easy, to make our life easier, okay? But the problem is, as we start getting into them, they become very complicated, and so they make our sentences more difficult. Let me give you an example, okay, of how pronouns work. I say to uh, you, for example, I say, oh, by the way, did you send your mum the card, yeah? Did you send your mum the card? Now, when you answer me, what you don't typically do is, you don't say, um, yes, I sent my mum the card. You don't do that, why? Because it's just, it's too long. I've already mentioned it, we know all about it. And so what you do is, you use these little pronouns to shorten your sentence, to make it faster, okay? And you say, Yes, I sent her it. And the her is a pronoun, and the it is a pronoun, okay? I sent her it. That's, what pro that's the job of a pronoun. The job of a pronoun is to make your sentence, and these ones, the ones that we're talking about, the furniture removers list and the shoot at me list, these are designed to make your sentences quicker, okay? That's all. So, why, does, why do they make them slower, is the question. The question is this, because when you are learning, you learn in a very, very specific way, okay? And I'm going to show you how you learn, how the mind learns, or at least one idea of how the mind learns, okay? If you've seen this, then I'm sorry if you haven't seen it again and you don't have to watch it all the way through. But if you haven't, I think it's very important because this will be the making or breaking of your Spanish learning journey. If you understand this, you'll understand why you get these moments of, of absolute frustration, why your Spanish slows down so much. And understand that quite often what happens is the more you learn, the slower you go. Okay? And that can be very frustrating and people think that the Spanish is going backwards. I've heard so many times people saying, my Spanish is going backwards. It isn't. It's going forwards, but it's going forwards in a different way. Let me explain. 